All right, check it out. It is raining cats and dogs, uh, but I had to get this uh, video uh, filmed. I've been doing all of the new items in the uh, fiery menu off of the fiery menu over at uh, Burger King. Already done the mozzarella sticks, already done the uh, chicken fries, mozzarella fries, chicken fries. I did the fiery Whopper. There's only two left. There's five items on this new fiery menu. It's uh, the chicken sandwich that's in this bag and it's that uh, strawberry Sprite on fire. They set it on fire. It's a big thing for Burger King. You got a little lighter, a little I think they've run into a couple problems. People singeing off their um, eyebrows already. So we're going to check out this. What is it called? The Fiery Bacon Royal Crispy Chicken Sandwich. Cue the intro. What is up, everyone? It is the endorsement, and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I could be very persuasive. We got the uh, Hartford Yard Goats uh, hat on deck. That's a bag. I like doing the little, the undercut with the bag throw right there. All right, so here we go. Does it say sticky? The sticky station? On the, on the sticker, it said sticky. I, it might be, but right here in this uh, packaging right here, the Fiery Bacon Royal Crispy Chicken Sandwich. That's a mouthful. Uh, chicken sandwich features a crispy white meat breast filet coated with a fiery glaze. So you're still having the fiery glaze on there. Doesn't look like it's there. I don't know. We're doing, we're doing what I got. We're doing what I got. Burger King, after these five... After these five items. If you missed my Whopper review with what we had on the Whopper, <laughs> yikes. I don't think I see the um, fiery glaze, but it's topped with uh, crispy, fiery seasoned bacon. I see that. Um, pepper jack cheese, juicy tomatoes. I'll be the judge of that. Uh, crispy lettuce, and then the creamery, the creamery, the creamy fire sauce. But there it is. I'll get you a better look in a minute. I want to get it to you out of the bag. All right, there you go. We're, we're going to see if this brings the heat because these five items, I said it in the other three videos, uh, they are layered, uh, leveled uh, for fire. You know what I'm talking about. There's a level one, a level two, a level three, a level four. This is actually the top level, the level five on the fiery scale. Let's take a bite. All right, so this is slip sliding away. Uh, because of the tomato on top. I lost the bun already, but here we go. Let me show you. Look at that chicken right there. I know that the glaze that they put on their um, spicy chicken is definitely like a reddish orange color. So that doesn't look like it's on there, but you can see that fiery bacon right there. And then the uh, fiery sauce. It is what it is. This is, this is how it's going to go down. I already had to go back inside for the uh, Whopper video. I think I had an issue with one of the other things. It is what it is. And I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I doubt it. I'll tell you what. Let's take a bite of this right here and I'll tell you. No, there's no glaze on this. That's just a chicken fly. So this is definitely not going to reach um, level five. I tell you. Now let me know in the comments below. Uh, to the people out there that don't do food reviews and don't go to fast food as much as I do, do you still get all of these errors? Like, I get so many of them, but then I think while I'm going, like, every single week, is it just because of the uh, amount of times I'm going, I'm going to find all of these errors? It is what it is. I'm in the parking lot, but I'm not going back in. I'm not. You can imagine whatever spiciness this have, this has, you can... Bump it up a notch. Bump it up a notch. I felt like Kramer. Bump it up a notch. All right, wish me luck. I'm going right into that section so I can at least get some of this um, fiery bacon. Wish me luck. Mm -hmm. I'm tasting it the most on this one. They didn't put much of it on my Whopper after I went back in and got it remade. Chicken's cooked nicely. 
but it's not their glazed um, spicy chicken. There it is. The heat is probably a two out of 10 on any type of spice meter. Would the glaze make it like a four or a five and get it to like uh, level five and be the uh, most fiery item uh, from this menu? Maybe. Am I going to find that out today? No. Am I going to find it out another day? Probably not. Probably not. How do you... I get it. It's new. But it's also, in this area, been out Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Been out four days. Y you know what you, you know. You know what you got to do. It's called the fiery menu. And this is number five on the fiery menu. You got to make sure all the components are there. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And you know what I'm going to do? Just because you know I don't love tomatoes. I've been keeping the tomatoes on for the past, I don't know, couple years. Three, four years maybe. I'm taking the uh, tomatoes off. You saw it. You know. If you like tomatoes and I give you a rating, you know you're just going to like it uh, just as much, if not more, by keeping the tomatoes on. If you're a tomato person, this is more my speed right here. Let's give it another bite. I'm digging that sauce. Spicy. Getting that extra spice and a little bit of sweetness from that uh, bacon. I don't know where that's coming from. I actually like... I actually like the flavor on this. I wish it was more hot. I wish it was more fiery. Hmm. I'll have to watch some other videos, making sure that other people are getting the uh, glaze on there. There's one more look at the cross section. Take a look. And I'll tell you, the heat without that glaze is actually staying on the taste buds and on the tongue. Um, I actually like this. I'm not a huge fan of their um, chicken sandwich, the Royal Crispy Chicken Sandwich. It's good, but I don't think I'd put it up here past like Popeyes and some others, but this one is made pretty well, minus no glaze, and that sauce. I would take that sauce and dip uh, nuggets or dip uh, french fries in that sauce. Wow. I don't know. 1 to 100, we'll give it a rating. One more look. A decent chicken sandwich. Especially now that I got rid of the, the uh, tomatoes. All right, so listen, 1 to 100. Oh, I forgot my water at home. I have remnants of... Uh, Kokomoko. I'm going uh, three times a week instead of seven times a week to Duncan. I space it Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. All right, so one to 100. Without the glaze, with the glaze, I can't tell you, but I'm sure it probably gets uh, bumped up a little bit with some more heat. But without the glaze, the one I got today, it's an 81. But I think with the glaze, it might be in that 85 to 86 range if it brings the level 5 heat. Um, there you go. Another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media getting the word on my channel out to the masses. In closing, 